Now what I like to do is start with what I tell patients and family members of mine is perhaps one of the most rewarding and gratifying journeys that I've taken in the treatment of a disease since I graduated from medical school in 1987. And this is called transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or what we call TAVR for aortic stenosis. This is valve replacement in the awake and talking patient. I never thought in my lifetime that I would be able to replace someone's aortic valve while they were awake and talking to me. I want to show you how that's done. First, let's start with why do you replace somebody's aortic valve? And that's for a condition called aortic stenosis. And that means blockage and disease of the heart valve, as you see right here. It's the most common cardiovascular disorder after coronary artery disease and high blood pressure. Aortic stenosis is a geriatric or elderly disease. The average age for valve replacement in the United States is about 80. So when you have a three-cusp aortic valve, which is normal, that wears out and becomes blocked in about 7 to 10% of the population after they're 80. If you're born with a two-cusp valve, that presents earlier. So that's a congenital abnormality that you're born with. And those people have valve replacements in their 50s and 60s. There's no medical treatment for aortic stenosis. If it becomes severe and symptomatic, as you'll see, it's fatal. It's a fatal disease. The treatment for aortic stenosis has been traditionally surgical aortic valve replacement. That means cut the, the breastbone, divide it, put you on the heart-lung machine, cut out the old valve, sew in a new one, seven to ten days in the hospital, two to three weeks in a rehabilitation, can't drive for six weeks, go back to work if you're still working in three months. So it's a great operation, highly successful, but very morbid from a recovery standpoint. There are about 80 to 100,000 aortic valve replacements in the U.S. per year. This is the problem with aortic stenosis. It causes chest pain, passing out when you exert yourself, and shortness of breath and heart failure. If you develop heart failure from aortic stenosis, if you're short of breath, you have a one-year mortality rate of 50%, 50%. Aortic stenosis is more lethal than the most lethal cancer that we think of. Lung cancer, metastatic colon cancer, ovarian cancer. As you see here, the five-year survival, if you don't operate somebody from aortic stenosis, is less than 5%. The good news is, if you have your aortic valve replaced, it's like you never had the disease. So it's literally a curative procedure if you have aortic stenosis. The problem is, we have age discrimination in the United States. Patients go to their doctors with aortic stenosis, we're in their 80s, and what does the doctor say? You're too old to have your valve fixed. The reason why is there is a high risk of aortic valve, there's a higher risk of complications and mortality when you're operating on people that age. Average mortality for a high-risk individual could be in the 5 to 7% range at 30 days for a major complication. If you're young and in good health, it could be less than 1%. So a lot of concerns. So what you see, if you look across populations, less than 30% of patients with aortic stenosis are treated who have the disease. Now I want to share with you in this little cartoon animation how we replace the aortic valve in the awake and talking patient. And this is a device that we use uh, from a company called Edwards, which is a system that we use to replace the valve. So we're going to walk in onto the heart. The heart is beating, as you see here. We're going to cut inside, and you're going to look down on this valve. This valve should be opening all the way. It's thickened and calcified, and its opening is restricted, causing the blood to back up. What we're going to do now is what we call basically a train system. We put a wire in to the main artery in the heart called the aorta. And just like a train, if you put a rail, the train can go anywhere. So we advance this wire across the valve and then advance a balloon that we're going to dilate the blocked valve with. That's going to open it up to allow us to put our stent in. We blow up the balloon. 
the valve opens more than it was before, certainly not normal. We take the balloon out, and then we're going to bring in a catheter, which is about the size of your pens on your desk, and we're going to advance that up through the main aorta, and this is a very special stent. And inside this stent is sewn an aortic valve either from a pig or a cow. We advance that stent across the valve. We blow up the balloon. As you'll see in a second, we blow up the balloon. The stent is expanded. We withdraw the balloon, and then you can immediately start to see, and we'll look on top, a new valve is in place. The valve is opening. We're going to look down on top of the valve, and you'll see what the normal valve opening should look like. And what I should tell you is this is done with local Novocaine medication in the groin, and the patient is awake and can talk to you during the procedure. The average length of stay for this procedure in patients who are come to us in good shape is about two to three days. In patients who are very, very ill, we can still get them out of the hospital in three to four days. Some of you may be asking, I'm old-fashioned, Dan. I don't like new catheter-based technologies. How good is it compared to surgery? This is a randomized trial that we participated that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. You can see on the top comparing surgical replacement to the TAVR, and that's death on the y-axis. So if you have surgical replacement of the aortic valve compared to TAVR, you see a lower mortality with the catheter-based therapy that has a faster recovery and less burden of recovery problems. So it's at least as good as surgery in some studies, and in this latest study from the New England Journal, better than surgery. Now, as we say, there's no free lunch. A surgical valve costs $5,500. A catheter valve costs $32,000. $32, the good news, though, all of you, who've worked hard and have paid Uncle Sam all your life, completely covered by Medicare. No out-of-pocket costs for TAVR aortic valve replacement for aortic stenosis if you have Medicare. And it is now covered by most commercial insurance policies as well. <laughs>